So let's look at making our asteroid object. Over here in the sprites, I have a sprite asteroid large using the same sprite from our previous game, 64 by 64 origin point centered and precise collision checking. I then made a smaller version of that, half the size at 32 by 32, same settings. And then I'm bringing in the sprite explosion large and the sprite explosion small that I've been using throughout these games. Down in the objects, I have created an object for the asteroid large, the explosion large, and the explosion small. Let's go ahead and start with the explosions. Open up the explosion large. And I'm going to give this a depth of negative 5. And we're just going to set it so that it destroys itself when the animation is over. So add event, other, animation end. Come over to main 1 and destroy itself. Click OK and then open the explosion small. I'm going to give this a depth of negative 5, and since there's no reason to repeat the animation end event, we'll just go ahead and give it the parent of the explosion large, so it will inherit that. Now we can come to the asteroid large. So open that up. We're going to have this move around the screen in a random direction, so add event, create, come over to move, move free, and we're going to set the direction to random parentheses 360 and we're going to give it a speed of 2. Click OK and we also want the image to be rotated randomly so that they don't all look the same. So come over to control set variable we're going to set image underscore angle to a value of random 360. Click OK and now we need to make the asteroid wrap around the screen so add event other outside room, and we'll come over to move and find our wrap screen. Set that to both directions. Okay, so now we can close this, and I'm going to come over here and duplicate the asteroid large. And this time I'm going to call it object asteroid small, and I'm going to give it the sprite of asteroid small. And I'm not going to give this the parent of asteroid large, because these two objects are going to act very differently. And most of this will be the same, but one thing I do want to change is the set direction in the create event. We're going to actually delete this, and when the asteroid large is destroyed, it's going to create four of these small ones, and we're going to have the asteroid large determine the direction and speed it goes in. So close this. And we're going to set up all of the collisions in the player laser object. So open that up. And we are going to add an event, collision, asteroid large. The first thing we need to do is stop the asteroid from moving. So come to control, set variable, select other, and we're going to set the variable speed to zero. We're then going to change the asteroid into an explosion. So come over to main one, find our change instance, apply that to other, being the asteroid, and change it into the explosion large. We also want to perform events and click OK. We're then going to have the asteroid large create four smaller asteroids. We're going to basically divide the asteroid into four parts so that a smaller asteroid appears in each quadrant around it. So far we've been making objects determine their own direction and speed when they're created in their create event, but we also have an action that can set the created object's direction and speed. And that's over here in the main one tab, under objects, create moving. Drag that underneath. Again we're going to have this apply to other, and we're going to create the object asteroid small. Since our large asteroid has its origin point in the center, that is how we are going to determine the coordinates relative to it where the smaller asteroids will appear. This first one will be in the top left corner, so its x will be negative 20, a y of negative 20, and I'm going to give this a random speed. I'm going to give it a speed of random, parentheses 2, plus 3. So this is going to give me a value between 3 and 5. I also want its direction to be random, but I want it to be between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. 
but I don't want it to actually be 90 or 180. I don't want it moving in a straight line. I want it at a diagonal. So the formula for that is going to be random 80 plus 95. So this will give me a value of between 95 degrees and 175 degrees. It's important not to make it go straight up or straight down, because if the object is destroyed off screen, then we will never see it because it'll just keep going straight up and down off the edge of the screen, which means we will not be able to destroy it, and that means we can never finish the level. And as a final point, we want to check relative, because this will be relative to the asteroid large origin point. Click OK, and we are going to copy and paste this three more times. Copy, paste, paste, paste. So open the second one, and this one is going to be in the upper right. So we're going to give it an x of positive 20. y of negative 20, speed is the same, but for our direction, instead of 95, I'm only going to add plus 5. So this will give me degrees between 5 and 85. Click OK. Open the third one. This will be in the bottom right, so both the x and the y need to be positive. And then down in the direction, we are going to change this to plus 5. But then I'm going to put this whole thing into parentheses. And then just before, I'm going to put negative. I mentioned before in an earlier video, positive angles go counterclockwise around the origin point and negative angles go clockwise. So this formula is going to give us a direction between negative 5 degrees and negative 85 degrees, which is the same as 275 degrees positive and 355 degrees positive. I just did it this way because it's easier to manipulate the formula. So click OK and then finally open the last create small asteroid. This is going to be in the bottom left, so we need a positive y and we are going to set the direction into parentheses and make this negative. Click OK. And then finally we want to destroy the laser itself, so drag it and destroy instance, set it to self, OK. So now let's make it so we can destroy the small asteroid, add an event, collision, asteroid small. We're going to change this into a small explosion, so come over to change instance. We will apply it to other change it into the explosion small, perform events, and then destroy the laser. So destroy instance, apply it to self, OK. And now we need to add our asteroids to the room. So close the laser and open our room. Come find our objects and select our large object asteroid and place four of them in the room. Close that, and let's test it. So they begin by selecting a random direction and moving towards it. If we hit one with the laser, it should burst into four. Let me make sure I'm out of the way. OK, and if we hit a small one, if I hit a small one, hold still. OK, they are exploding into small explosions. They can't actually hit us yet and hurt us so we need to set that up. Before we do that, though, we should set up a life counter system and the score system. 